Boys, my name is Kangro, and Iron Man is a better superhero than Spider-Man, and I have my fucking stupid fat-ass friend here to prove me wrong. So, prove me wrong. First, I want to start off with powers. One example, he has these thunder webs. You can hang enemies by them in the game, or like there's a gadget bomb where you throw it and it shoots out a fuck ton of webs and it gathers everyone. Spider-Man's gadgets are better because not only is there a large variety that he has, especially in the games, they just help him out a lot. And also with the Venom powers in the second game, he has like the fucking sludge bomb like it's, there's so much availability for different situations yeah but i feel like in the movies in the iron man movies you could say the same shit because iron man has a neural link fucking helmet whatever the fuck that has nanotech that creates whatever weapon he wants to pop out of anywhere with the nanodes to do however much damage he has however much power that he wants to and it's way more customizable than anything spider-man is even the iron spider suit there's no iron spider suit that's that technologically advanced and even though i like that Spider-Man's powers are more grounded in reality. Iron Man's are just genuinely more powerful and more creative and can shoot a wider variety of situations. Well, it's with that, but he's like, he's like a really, not necessarily a newer superhero, but like the Tom Holland movies, he's like a really new superhero. And obviously he has to do it based off Tony Stark's abilities already. So I'm sure in this next movie, he'll have nanotech too. What if he doesn't? So it, I heard he, uh, it's supposed to be Venom in no, this movie. Well. All right, well, fuck you then. So you like Spider-Man's powers because they're powers? I don't understand. Well, not only are they just, like, fucking sick, you can throw a bomb and everyone in the fucking 100-foot radius is just webbed up. Iron instantly. Man can do that, too. What about the Venom powers? Iron Man can make a black suit, too. Spider-Man isn't the only superhero that can do blackface, bro. <laughs> that was not my point. I meant, you know, like actual Venom powers, not just a suit. Yeah, I'll admit Spider-Man Venom is cool, but there's so many applications for Iron Man tech. There's so many different things he could do. Yeah, there's no like complete opposite to Iron Man, but in the movies, all the people that he fights are opposites. In the first one, there's a guy who makes a machine that's way more powerful than his. In the second one, there's a guy that makes a machine that can electrocute an electronically powered suit. And in the third movie, Movie, there's a guy that can use heat to melt a metal made suit so yeah there's no complete opposite in terms of like skill and like how venom is to spider-man yet still iron man's powers can compete against any villain whenever spider-man's can really only compete against the kind of shitty grunt villains that he fights in the games or in his movies well let's say iron man and spider-man got in a fight iron man's winning every fucking day of the week well i think you're wrong i like it's literally just as simple as just webbing him up is it not because once he once he can't use his web blasters or not his oh. web fucking things it's okay no it's not you can web him up however much you want right he could be in in any fucking situation he could be doing goatsy and stuck in that but all he has to do is use his mind because of the helmet that he has and wants to shoot his arc reactor or what's it called i don't know shoot this and then it, it melts the web it burns the web it'll burn through the web and then from there he can do it or he could just break fucking through because his suit has like a uh, exoskeleton in it that makes him physically stronger like let's keep it a buck 50 webs are not stopping hulkbuster they're not hulkbuster yes yes they are webs and also also hulkbuster isn't like electric proof like what if he webs him up in the like the electric shit how the fuck is spider-man gonna get a web inside of the fucking gears of iron man's suit the webs are fucking tiny i don't know like it doesn't have to go inside like the whole suit is metal but that doesn't mean anything if the suit is also like strong enough to beat up hulk like do you think webs are gonna stop hulk iron Iron Man is so tiny compared to the Hulkbuster because it's supposed to beat up Hulk, but it, like the Hulkbuster isn't going to be able to do anything. It's not made to fight something that's so much smaller. Yeah, I guess in that situation, I get that. But in terms of like the capacity of Spider-Man's webs versus Iron Man's suit, there's no fucking chance. Iron Man, anytime he punches Spider-Man, is hitting him with a fucking hand of metal. It's basically brass knuckles. Spider-Man could hit as hard as he wants and he's hitting metal padding. The only thing spider-man could do would be web him up and that wouldn't work not only is iron man slower like he has an entire suit he can fly so can spider-man it's not really flying like he can just dodge his attacks if iron man tries to attack yeah but iron man could be hawking down spider-man while spider-man swinging through manhattan and use his brain to shoot a fucking rocket that homes on to fucking peter what is he gonna do against that this is literally in the game he just shoots a web at it and redirects it and it's literally a thing in the Game. I just don't understand how you that's like literally putting me against the strongest man in the world And I'm so serious But like what if let's say spider-man gets a hold 
of literally a grass on Iron Man and just fucking heaves him at the ground when they're like 200 feet in the air. He's gonna fly and stop himself from falling. Or he slams him into a building or he slams him into anything. He survived a planet getting slammed on, or no, a moon getting slammed on him in Infinity War. A moon! All right, I won powers. You don't even have to keep trying, whatever. Tony Stark versus Peter Parker. This is a landslide, easiest fucking day of my life. Pick the right answer here, come on. Spider-Man. You think that some random 15 to 16 year old loser from Queens who's a fucking science geek is cooler than a billionaire who is a genius and can make anything he wants in his billion dollar Malibu mansion. That's just all he is. He's just a billionaire. And I just explained all that Peter Parker is. He's a fucking high school loser. Like he has so much more story to that though. Tell me it. Like fucking Ted. Ted? Like he has friends like this. Like Ned. Yeah. Ned. Ned. Same thing. This is like it's so uncomparable because not only is Spider-Man a newer superhero who has to go off of Iron Man. Exactly. He's Iron Man's little bitch in those movies too. He's his son. He's an orphan. His character is that he's a nerdy high school kid. Iron Man's character is that he's a billionaire genius. How is that comparable? That's like comparing you to Bill Gates. Like, again, I can't even really defend that. Because he wins. Just admit that he wins. Yeah, it's like, obviously, Bill Gates is going to win. I can't even defend that. Don't do that. Don't tell me what to do. If you could hang out with either of them, you'd pick Tony Stark. Because Tony Stark could take you anywhere in a fucking private jet in two seconds. What are you going to do with fucking Peter Parker? Build Legos? Like, I don't want to talk to a fucking old man who talks about fucking AI technology and shit. I don't give a he fuck. Does, he's cool. He talks about cool shit. He's going to talk about shit that I have no fucking clue about. Yeah, because you're stupid. You're not going to know it either. You're acting like you're smarter than me. He doesn't go... If you've ever seen anything that Iron Man has ever been in, he doesn't go around going, Oh, Jarvis, it's a mouth hand thing. He's a partier. He f he's cool. What the fuck am I going to do with Tony? Anything you want because he has all the money in the world to make it happen. I'd rather go fucking go to an ice cream shop with Peter Parker than go hang out in Tony Stark's Avenger Town. Like, am I hearing you right? Is your mic cutting out? I'd rather be friends with a guy that's my age than someone who's a fucking old man. And that's where you or me are different. Alright, second win. Not even fucking close. MCU importance. This is another landslide. Can you even fucking debate me here? Again, newer character. <laughs> You just have me tied to a chair and just fucking molly whopping me, man. Like, I have nothing to say. Because you're shit at this. And I'm better than you. What am I going to say? Spider-Man meet purple alien. No, he didn't. He didn't. No, he also didn't create the fucking Avengers. He also doesn't live in a billion dollar mansion. That was my point. Exactly. So here you fucking go. Eat this shit up, bitch. I win. I win this category too before it even started. MCU importance. Iron Man basically started the Avengers. Come the fuck on. Fuck you. Next one. You don't control this shit. This is my fucking video. Next one, bitch. Come on. And what if I don't? Alright, we're done here. No, 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 don't stop recording. Do not stop recording. Relatability. I'm not a fucking 40-year-old man. I'm a high schooler. Like I said, I would still like to hang out with someone who's my age. We're not hashing back up this situation again. No, this is relatability. You're more relatable to Peter Parker than you are Iron Man. And you know that's true. Not for long. Peter Parker's more relatable, but he's not the good kind of relatable. That doesn't make sense. Peter Parker's relatable, but he's relatable to fucking losers. Iron Man is relatable to cool people, like billionaires, and they're all really cool. Yeah, you don't know a single billionaire. Tell me I won't call up Bezos right now. Do that shit right now. I'd fall back in my chair again, but it really hurt. All right, we've had our fucking glaze-a-thon on our superheroes long enough. I won, you didn't. But if you think that Brody won, go ahead and dislike the video and if you think that i won like the video boys you're gonna want to stay tuned to this series because next up we have the one and only joe bartolozzi that's right i'm gonna be, be debating joe bartolozzi so make sure you subscribe fuck this kid he's wrong about every opinion that he has and he's fat so everything that he says has no merit go fuck yourself you're a piece of shit <laughs>